Assalamualaikum and good morning and welcome back to TPMX My Drone Tech Festival 2020. So for our next session, so we have together with us Encik Amza Ahmad on behalf of Sirim who will be sharing with us uh, the, on the topic of certification program for communication and multimedia for drones. Uh, so uh, I hand over to you Encik Amza, how are you? Okay, fine. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and very good morning to our audience. And I would like to thank you, the TPN, and also MDEC to invite Sirim to present the certification program for communication product exclusively for, for Duna. Okay. For today's agenda, I will uh, introduce you about what is certification, what is Sirim doing, the type approval, the special approval, and also the import permit for to clear your product in custom, and also the self labeling program. Okay, as you know, CDIM is actually the appointed certification agency by the MCMC since 1999, where we certify all the communication product. Uh, the scope that we check is electrical safety, EMC, network interoperability, wireless, language apparatus, cable accessory, and everything for that that transmit the frequency. Okay. This is an example of the communication product that has been certified by CIRIM, such as telephone, mobile phone, satellite modem, PC mini machine, and a lot of the wireless products, such as the Bluetooth. Okay, now today, we also certified the hybrid product. Okay, hybrid product, the term that we use is to define the product. Actually, before that, you don't have the communication module. And lastly, the product has have been technology has been developed, and then the product has also had communication product, such as the toys, like transparent, such as fan, and also the television, medical device, and now this drone. Drone also have the communication product. This is example of the communication that has been approved by CDM. There are a lot of the hybrid product that we certify. Okay, uh, if you want to know uh, the your product is ha uh, have the integrated communication, you can check on the data sheet or product specification. You see, you can determine uh, the product actually have the frequency or can connect it to the network service provider. If you check it, it's like, like you see, it's, this drone is operating at 2.4 gigahertz or 5.7 gigahertz. And it shows this product required to have the certification from CDM. Okay, uh, for the certification method, we have two types of certification method. First is type approval, we call it type approval. And second is special approval. Both of them is we certify according to model and brand. For a type approval, okay, the object, uh, sorry. Okay, the objective for certification is to ensure the compliance of the product according to MCMC technical code and specification because their technical code has been published by the MCMC that we, we follow it. That's why every product that has been sent to us for certification need to ensure the product meet the requirements such as the output uh, power, frequency range, and also the safety and the EMC of the product. Okay, the difference between Type approval and a special approval is uh, the type approval, the purpose you want to go in Malaysia is for the local sale. However, for a special approval, uh, the certification will be given uh, according for the own use, exhibition, R&D, trial, or market survey, or demo or training of, of the person. Okay, for the type approval, the being given to the only company that being registered at SSM or importer, supplier, network, operator, or manufacturer. However, for the special approval, will be given to a uh, person in the Malaysia. You could claim a uh, warga negara Malaysia or warga foreigner. Okay, I will go to tip four in the type approval. Okay, this is the, the standard that we will use, uh, the technical code that we use for us to certify the product. Uh, they have a uh, lot of the standard. For example, for the drone, 
Stanley, if you use 2.4 gigahertz, we will certify your product according to the first standard MCMC, MSSV, TCT, 0007. That's why it's for the short range device. Mostly, uh, if you do, know, do not know the, the, the what kind of product, you can just send to us the product specification and then we will give the advice according to the product specification. Okay, we go to the certification process flow. First of all, every if the company want to do the type over, they require to have the login ID in e-com because everything that we do right now is online. Submission document is online. Uh, payment can be done online. All right. So for the audience out there, uh, it's okay. After the session has ended, uh, at the end of the day, we will provide the, the deck for you guys as well. And if you have further questions, you can get in touch directly with Inchi Amza and his team. Or uh, you can also uh, funnel that questions directly to Mudas or uh, the team in MDEC so that we can convey that message to the team in Sirim. And we'll try to help you sort whatever question that you have uh, from your side. Okay? Okay, let's go back to Inchi Amza. Uh, sorry, sorry guys for the disruption. Okay, we go to the certification process. Okay, basically, the first, you need to, log, to have the login ID in e-com. After you have the login ID in e-com, you can, you can go to the submission. For If you want to do the type approval, first of all, you need to register the lab first. Because the lab, we need to know is the accredited lab or not. And then you register the stress report. And after that, you will register, uh, you will upload all the documentation about the model you want to apply to drone for the type of application. You need to upload the product specification, user manual, brand declaration. After the submission has been done, and then we will if, uh, we will check your application and, and then you can import for the sample, which means you, you can apply the import permit. Uh, import permit, you can apply it at the e-permit Daganet, which, which basically you you also need have to have the login ID. After you import the sample and then you can give the sample to us or you can just submit the photo of the sample. And then after we do the evaluation and uh, the product is actually can meet the requirement and then we, we issue the certificate of conformity. And after that, you get the type of certificate of conformity and then you need to do the self-labeling registration. You need to get the ID because each product have to indicate, have the indication that for the product has been certified, the MCMC label. That's why you need to do the self-labeling registration. After the self-labeling registration is complete, you can go to the import permit application to do the import permit for the custom carrier to do for the local sale one, or if you want to, to import uh, a lot of the unit. And then you do the custom clearance. And then it's the end. Okay, this one is the certification fee for the type approval fee. Basically, we will charge you the processing fee and the registration, 150, and also the evaluation fee, 100 ringgit per band. And then if you do want, do, uh, do not know about this, and then you just, just email to us, and then we'll be, uh, get back to you the information of the fee. For the MCMC labels application, the celebrity ID is 100 ringgit per year. And also for the product registration is 15 cent for IMA the, and serial number is 15 cent. This example of the certificate of conformity that the company will get. You can use the approval number to get the import permit and do the uh, next process. Okay. This one is for the special approval. The special approval is uh, quite simple because the special approval is uh, the purpose is for the personal company training, research development, exhibition, demo, marketing, or trial. If you want to, okay, they have a limit on the quantity they could import. For example, for the person is three unit, company three unit. And then the maximum for the uh, person to import the product is 12 unit per year, according to that model. Okay, we go to the special approval process law. 
the process flow for the special Uber is quite simple. Hello? Good. Hello? Can, can, can you yeah. put your phone on uh, landscape? Landscape. Okay, can you see? Hold on. Hold on, it's coming. Because it's blank. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I don't no, know what I, I think you, you, you go back to portrait to see if, if the deck is back online. Yeah. All right, all right. We can, we can see the deck clearly. Yes, okay. All right, all right. Much better. Thank you so much. Much better. Okay, sorry, sorry. <laughs> okay. Uh, thank you, thank you. Okay, for the special approval. Oh, this one is, is important, special. <laughs> Okay, the special mobile because the special world mostly the drone company and the personnel they are using the special approval to to do the 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 situation. Yes. Because some of the okay for the special approval application, the same documentation is need, but uh, less because you just need to provide the product spec. You need to provide the coffee the for informal invoice or if you import. For purpose for training R and D or demo, you need to provide the supporting letter from the organizer, and then you need to register the trust report. After that, you do the payment, and then you can do the import permit custom clearance because we will issue the. You, you need to apply the import permit, and then after that, you can uh, clear your product at the custom. Okay, basically the special approval uh, timely is two working days. For the import permit is within 24 hour. Uh, I forgot to mention the type approval uh, timely is uh, five working days. Uh, it's just very short, and you, you could get you can get your your certificate within one month. Chianza, before you go forward, the based on, on on this special approval process flow, right? So on a okay. daily basis or on a monthly basis, you know, how how many uh, applications uh, do you receive from your side? Uh, a lot, I think about one month, about uh, 1,000 applications. So I think 1, you, that, that is something that, that we want to share with our audience because uh, people out, out there, you know, we, some of them are, are complaining, you know, because they've submitted some of the applications, you know, but there's, they have been, some of them may not get any response yet. But I think they also oh. need to understand you know, the, on a monthly basis, your team is managing thousands of applications, right? Yes, yes. Got it. Not got including, it. Uh, yeah, not including the import permit. The import permit also is quite a lot. <laughs> That's why they, uh, this one is for special world. We got monthly basis, I think. Uh, for drone also, is quite a lot. Got it, got it. Thank you, thank you. Okay, for the special approval fee, it's quite less than the type approval one because this one is for the one time only. For the company internal use, is 100 ringgit. This fee is not included the SST. 100 ringgit, one to three unit. If he has he import additional or four unit, and then we will need to add the 300 ringgit per, per batch. For individual, we it's quite less because if you import the certified product, which means that, for example, he the person is importing the uh, DJI drone that has been certified in Malaysia. We only charge them 20 ringgit. If the product is not certified in Malaysia yet, and we will charge the person is 40 ringgit. And like I say, the limit for the person can import is 12 unit only per year. So and then for the train, the, the processes of this is can can be done online. Yeah, everything can be done online. You just if you do not know, you just email to us. At the end of the session, I will give the, the email and also the contact for, for you to contact us. Got it. Okay, this one is the special approval certificate. This example of the certificate that we regard. Okay, this one I can I can share you the common scenario for the drone product. I, I think the the, uh, the same have been uh, go through. Okay, for example, if the individual is import in buy from the outside or import for personal use we will suggest him to do the special approval special approval and import permit only if the company buy from the outside or import and import 
for company use, and then you need to go to the special approval. If you use, if we, the company use the purposes of the importation for the local sale, and then he need to do the type approval. He cannot do the special approval. Same for the company that buy the uh, component parts outside Malaysia that require for the knee. He require to have the, for the local sale, he require to have the type approval first. And then he can import the product. Same also if the, uh, the company is doing the repair center. If you're doing the repair center, he need to do the type approval, self labeling and also need to register in e-com as the uh, repair center. So at, at this point okay. of time, uh, based on all the categories that you shared, right? So the seven categories. So which are the most common uh, categories that, that Sirim received at this point of time? Uh, at this point of time, we received in the company use for number three. Company, they uh, import from the outside Malaysia and then they declare it for the company use and then we advise it to do the special approval. All right, all right. Because the, the, import, the importation is not not many because the unit that we import is less than four or five. We import according to thousand or few and then he required to have the type over. Got it, got it. We will we'll try to make some changes there in the near future, trying to export more drones from Malaysia. Okay. Okay, for the product have been purchased locally by individual or company, actually the city approval should be applied to the importer or the local distributor. If they, you, you go to the, any shop mm -hmm. in Malaysia, you will want to buy the drone, you, if your product don't have the certification, don't have the MCMC label, and then you just can report to us or MCMC for further investigation. Got it. Okay, this one is for the self labeling program. It's, this one is typically for the type approval. If you want to do the local sale, the self labeling program is, is required. Uh, this one is an example of the SLP mark, certification mark, the MCMC. Every product in the communication product require to have this certification mark. If don't have, don't buy it. Okay, you can see the self labeling method that will be used in the communication product. Some of have been integrated into the e labeling that been displayed in the, their phone. You can check using your, your phone also. And also the surface labeling. You can see on the product marking or the packaging to, to check the certification mark. Okay, we go to the import permit, the final step if you want to clear your product in custom. Because basically, why we do the import permit there? Because this one is to comply to with the custom act 1967 because this one Siri has been appointed as the COA, the import permit issuance since I think 2000 and that's why every communication product required to have the import permit. Okay, this one, okay, thank you, that's one for my slide and if you have any problem, any inquiry, you just can. Great, great, thank you so email. much. Uh, you can email, okay. So, so I think the, the, the information uh, to contact you is there and we will be sharing uh, your deck uh, in the YouTube channel later. But I think right now we, ha we still have some time uh, to answer some questions uh, online. And, and there are a few questions actually that, that, that I'm receiving uh, here, which I, hopefully you, you can answer, an answer some of them. So we have one from uh, Mr. Mirza from Hydrokinetic. So he, he is asking, so he is using a marine broadband radio for uh, MB, Kongsberg MBR 179 mil spec for 35 kilometer range uh, data transmission at 16.5 uh, megabit per second. And they have problem getting registered with MSMC. And the frequency band uh, 49,000 megahertz to 59,000 megahertz, channel bandwidth 20 megahertz. Uh, so what was the question here? Um, oh, I think the, he got the quite problem to, to register their product at the CDM. I don't know. Mm -hmm. so, so I think uh, we will get uh, Mr. Mirza to contact uh, you later yeah. and your team. Yeah. Uh, we have another question from uh, Mr. Ray uh, Leung. 
So he's asking that if a foreign company wants to import drone for temporary testing, so a, a limited uh, amount of time that the drones is going to be in Malaysia, so what, what kind of permit will they need? Uh, they can register, uh, they can apply under special approval. If we import it using the company name, and then he need to apply under special approval. Okay. Okay, ho ho hopefully that, that answers your question, Mr. Ray. Yeah. Uh, if not, I think you can further get in touch with uh, yeah, yeah. Sirim team at the number there. So that 019-717-2627 is uh, Sirim's hotline. WhatsApp. Yeah, Sirim WhatsApp. Uh, Sirim WhatsApp. WhatsApp. Ah, yeah. Sirim WhatsApp hotline. So yeah. I, I don't know if people know that information. So after this, you can everyone can go flood their WhatsApp <laughs> uh, link there and number. Uh, to, to ask all the questions, okay? Uh, we, we have another questions from Mr. Sadiq Rafi. So he's asking, how how is uh, drone purchase locally without MCMC label uh, beyond reporting? Uh, so they're asking, well, what was the penalty for, I think, owning as well as selling drones uh, that doesn't have these MCMC stickers? Okay, the... The penalty has been given actually uh, 100,000 ringgit for the company for five years of uh, jail, in jail. I, not, I forgot <laughs> it. Sorry. Because I don't prepare on the, the penalty one because for the company, if you, uh, you possess the illegal product, uh, the penalty one is uh, 100,000 or 50,000 per thousand if you got guilty. Uh, post, uh, mempunyai the illegal product. Got it, got it. So, dipenjarakan, I think, uh, five years maximum. Okay, I think before before we share the, the slide back to the audience, maybe we'll add one slide on the uh, penalties that yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the public will face or the, the commercial operators will face if they are found you know, to be operating with drones that doesn't have those certifications or companies are selling drones without those certifications. So I think this is something that, that is really important to be complied with. And I think as, as mentioned just now by Chi Amza, how, how many team do you have, Chi Amza, uh, going through these thousands of applications every month? Okay, we got uh, 45 staff doing the certification, the type over, special approval, import permit. All over Malaysia? Uh, no, our office is Shah Alam, okay. our HQ. Everything that we've done is HQ. So, but, but, so, yeah. but the, the, the process has been done by online. You just start, can submit online. Okay, so the process only needs us an online submission. Uh, so they do not have to go uh, physically to your office, right? Yeah, At this yeah. point of but time. If you want to go to the office, can. But from time being, it's because of the COVID, we suggest the, uh, the person to submit online. Got it, got it. I think thank you so much, uh, Chia Amza, for being with us today. And I think for everyone's information, uh, in the near future, uh, MUDAS will be initiating a session together with Sirim uh, for drones uh, that has, bought, has been bought earlier without Sirim certification. So they will have sessions to, to try to get those uh, drones to be certified. So I think later we'll, we'll share with you a link to register your interest to join MUDAS uh, to meet up with Sirim to get all your drones to be certified uh, in the near future. So I think uh, that's all we have for to, for Sirim session as of now. I would really like to thank uh, Mr. Amza, and for our next session uh, for TPM X My Drone Tech Festival, we will be hearing from Mudas, who will share about MCMC UAS compliance with the topic finding your frequency and the importance of being compliant. So thank you so much, Encik uh, Amza. For the audience out there, stay with us. Don't go anywhere. We'll be back in five minutes. Thank you so much.